Hey everybody, Slipbot 7 not here and welcome to my very cramped spare room which I'm recording in at the moment. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to play The Lines by Beartooth. You guys asked for this song. I put on my guitar cover if you'd like a lesson on this, put 100 likes and I think we're on like 111 or 118 or something like that. So you guys clearly want it so uh, I'll just, I'll do it. Do it! Do it! Right, lesson time, let's go! So first of all you're going to need to be in drop <laughs> Drop C, so that is C. G, C, F, A, and D. So you got a, I'd say the good medium, the medium between metal and not metal, but yeah, drop C is a sick tuning. So uh, if you're in drop C, then you're all good to go. So I'm using my Blackstar TVP 260, blah, 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 Blackstar amp. You know, it's a Blackstar amp, you know, Blackstar amp. Blackstar! Right, first of all, you want to play this song. I don't usually play this certain bit of the intro, so I'm not going to teach it. But it's the same as what the um, the intro is that I will be showing you. So, after the first intro where Caleb's coughing his guts up, then it will go into this riff. Like that. So basically what you're going to be doing there is you're going to be on the uh, second fret and you're going to be doing, it's a weird rhythm to describe but if you know the song you'll know what kind of rhythm to play so it's like a and then you're going to be hammering off and uh, hammering on to the third, uh, the third, the three sorry and then pulling off again to the second so, so and also just before you do that hammer and pull off you're going to want to bend the second fret and that's what Beartooth like to use, then bends. So if you just bend that, and don't, don't be afraid to use bends pretty much anywhere in the song because they do work. Um, so you want to bend that too and then go do the hammer off to pull off from three. And then what you're gonna do, after you've done that round, you're gonna go and do a three three on the F and the A string to make that, to make that high note you hear, so. Like that so uh, if I didn't mention it before there is another hammer on and pull off for three just before you go in to do them higher notes so let me try again I'll play it full speed for you Okay, so now once you've played that four times around that riff, you're going to go into the verse riff. And basically what you're going to be doing on the verse riff is you're going to slide up on the lowest string, on the lowest C, and you're going to be playing 14. So you're going to be 16th note, I think that's 16th note, it's not the 32nd or the 24th, or there's some fraction of music that I, I never paid attention to. So, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to go onto the 14th note, you go... Like that, so you're just going to slide up. And just keep playing that note until you go drop down to the three on the three power chord there. So like that. So you just play that twice. And now we're going to go into the heavier part of the verse, which essentially is all around the two, three in the open. And you're going to be basically playing the two and then hammering onto the three, pulling off to the two, doing an open. You'll see what I mean. So, so we're going to go from the calm bit of the verse straight into the heavier bit. Okay, so what you're going to be doing now, I'll play it slow for you, so... That. So if you follow the tabs, I forgot to mention those tabs, so if you look at the tabs you'll understand as well. So then you're gonna hammer to the three, then hammer back that pull off to the two. So, so two three two open two. Two three two open two. Just like that. I'm just not even playing the song now, but that's what you need to do. So. So I'll play it for you again, full speed, so... And once you've played that three times around the last time around, you want to play three, and then just loop it over. So 
you play that twice. So you play the uh, the calmer bit. It's not really calm. If you play the calmer bit of riff twice, then you play the heavier part of the riff twice. And then we're going to go and just do a ringing out on the two. And that's basically, that's potentially the pre-chorus. And then you're going to just stop playing and then we're going to go into the chorus so as i just said so two of the power chords so once you've done the on the three for the second time round, just power chord on the two and then you just want to either palm mute it like i do or i do like a, sometimes do like a harmonic to go into it or, but it's completely up to you you can just stop playing we're going to go into the chorus and basically what you're going to start doing is you want to do a standard power chord so not a, not a block power chord like a bar power chord you want to do a standard power chord so you want to do a three and five on the uh, the G and the higher C string, so and you're gonna go to the two, and then you're gonna do open, and then you're gonna slide up to the seven. I'll play that a few again, so, so you're gonna do that, then open, and then to the seven. Okay, so I'll play that again for you, but I'll do it in actual time. So one, two, three, four. If that makes sense. What I usually like to do on the seven, when I get to there, I usually like to halfway through playing. So if you say, for instance, if you play that eight times, on the fourth to go to the fifth time, I like to just introduce my uh, ring finger onto the nine of the high C string while playing that chord. And what it does, it just kind of, I don't know, it kind of allows it to go back into the chorus. That's how I like it. So if I just show you now, so go, so that. So if I play to you and show you how that sounds, you'll see whether you like it or not. So one, two, three, four. So yeah, so you just play that twice, but on the second, second turn around, you don't ring it out, or you do ring it out. I'm not too sure, because there's a few different points where either you ring it out or you don't ring it out. Whichever one is the right one. Okay, and then we're going to go straight back into the intro riff, the the right, the right intro riff that I didn't explain, not that one, the one after that. So we're going to... Uh, uh, If I can play it right, that is. So, so yeah, so you just go straight back into that intro riff and then you're gonna do the first softer verse again. So we're gonna slide back up to the 14. To three. And as you guessed it, back to the heavy verse. So play a three. And then you do it again. And then what else you do? Bring out the two. I'll tell you I'll be in chorus. Two. And go to the open. And go to the seven. So three, five. Two. Open. And then to seven. Now we're going to go to the bridge. And now what we're going to do from the bridge. I like to slide in from the five seven. You're going to be doing that 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 block note power chord. If you watched any of my other lessons, you'll understand what the block note mysterious power chord is. Octave. That's it. It's an octave, I think. Octave chord. So five and seven on the uh, the G and the um, the F string, but you block out the the higher C string. Like that, for instance. But what I usually like to, how I usually start this bridge off is you're going to keep the shape. The shape doesn't change. The the finger shape doesn't change. Slide so up from the five seven to the seven nine. So, but the chord, the the sorry, the bridge starts on the seven nine, but it's just kind of nice, a nice transition. So, so you want to do a seven nine, but you can slide up if you like to. Go to the ten twelve. So. And then you want to go to the 5-7 and then to 3-5. So. Yeah. 
Let's just repeat twice. Nothing less in my hand. Like that. So you play that twice, and then we're going to go into another riff uh, that I don't play because the other guitar plays it, and I like to give myself a chance to play this when you go fucking mental. It's the bit where it's like, where are the sons? Where are the daughters? Yeah, that bit. Um, <laughs> what I like to do, so you'll hear the guitar playing in the background, the, the rhythm guitar or whatever, whatever second guitar. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do one, two, one. So we are the sun. Listen to the song, you'll know. So you know now that bit. And then the generation of disorder. I believe that's the right lyrics. I'm really sorry if I got it wrong. So, the generation of desire. And now we're going to go into this breakdown. And how this breakdown starts is you're going to be based around the three, two, one, and open. It's literally all these, and I'll just show you in which order they go, because this used to really confuse me. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go Generation of Disorder, go, and then you're going to go. And then, so it's 2 1. Play that three note like you do in the intro. So, so. So, I like to just do a few chugs. So, like, just there. You're gonna do a one and open after, so like that. I usually like to space all these this these parts out with a few just dead notes. I guess you can see them dead notes. So one open. And then I like to go three two. And then one two one. So two one, one open, three two, one two one. And then so uh, so we'll play it again. So. So if I play that for you full speed now, and you'll see what I mean, so generation of disorder. I don't know the lyrics, but that's the one, two, one bit. And then go. And now, once you've played that, you're going to soften it down a bit. And you know the power chords that we used in the bridge, the, where the octave notes are? Play them, but play them a bit softer. So, so 7, 9, and 10, 12. And go to the 5, 7. And in my cover, I made the mistake of going down to the 3, 5 again, because I forgot. Ring out on the 5, 7, don't go down to the 3, 5. So just go 7, 9. That out and we're going to go back into that chorus which as you know by now is three five two open seven three two one no. and then we're going to on the last seven you just want to stop that note right, 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 right. Breakdown, the chuggy breakdown, and then that'll be ending the song. Break a string optional. Can do if you want to be hardcore. Do it if you want to. I didn't. But I almost did when I did that cover. So uh, yeah, just end it doing mental stuff. So a lot of it's repetitive. A lot of the song is repetitive, but it's a good type of repetitive. It doesn't become cliche. It doesn't become too overused. It's it's put they're, they're well organised and well struck. So there we have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching this uh, guitar lesson. Hope you learned something. If you didn't get a certain part, check out the tabs down below. Go to the section that you missed out on. Hopefully you'll you'll pick it up by the end. If not, I'm pretty sure there's other covers you can look at. And you know, there's there's other ways of um, learning stuff, but hopefully my my tutorial and my how to play has helped you. 
Thank you very much for watching this video guys. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page for any updates or any videos or any funny things that I do. You know, don't forget to check out my second channel as well. So check out my second channel, Facebook, Twitter, uh, follow me on Instagram as well. All the links should be down below. If not, type in my username wherever I decide to put these uh, put these little widgets and stuff like that. Um, you can follow them right there. Just search my name up and I should come up on most social media. So thank you very much for watching this guys and another lesson should be coming to you very, very soon. Thank you very much for watching guys. Cheers. Take care. Bye.